So I am taking lessons with uh, Eddie Angel from Low Straight Jackets, and he gave me a little assignment. He was showing me some uh, chords down in the lower corner of the neck, like a C major, D major, maybe like a, like a G minor seven. A D minor. He had all kinds of cool chords. I wrote them down. And then he said, hey, do you ever do like chord melodies of popular songs? And I'm like, wow, not really. So he started showing me a little bit of this. Let's see if you recognize it. I want to change it to no. Oops, is that right? No. That sounds kind of weird. Maybe this. There we go. Oops, yeah. That sounded funny. There's a little fill. I could play that, the fill, or... So that sounded funny. I, I was getting tired when I was writing this out. Um, yeah, I missed a little something. Oh, there. Yeah, I've got, I'm a little disorganized there. And we're back to. Anyhow, that's the end of the page. So that was his suggestion, is learn that tune and figure it out with a, mixing the chords with melody. Um, so how I started, I'll just give you a little tiny start. That was the like the only clue he gave me. Well, there was a little more. He's like, wait, 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 open strings. Fourth string, third string, second string. minor which I grabbed like you know Oops. 
That was new. I wrote that when I was kind of getting tired last night, but... That sounds cool. So I got one page kind of written out. I could probably rewrite it a few times and every time I write it, it's going to be a little different. So if I'm looking for my book, uh, oh well. <laughs> uh, so it's a combination of really knowing your chords and knowing the vocal melody, kind of listening to the record a lot. I think it's ear versus, uh, you know, just being a musical genius. It's, I had to chisel through every single note with my pencil last night. You know, sitting on the couch, just writing out as much as I could. And, you know, I did it till I got pretty tired, but, you know, if I can get this refined a little bit, um, this could be a nice little piece if I could enter it into my Guitar Pro 7 software, I'd have an excellent handout, but I'd show it to people and they would, you know, they'd, they'd say, well, you know, are people gonna really get that? Are they gonna wanna dig in and play my version? Probably not, but it'd be for my own personal um, satisfaction to get the timing and the voicing and the tablature transcription you know, get all the timing down and the chords and do one, you know, probably be about four pages. That would be cool. So maybe I'll uh, keep working on that. And if you like the idea of chord melody, well, I think it's kind of like you're, you're trying to get the band sound, like the, the overall sound of the song, the vocal plus the chords and the rhythm all combined is, is what we're really trying to do here with that. So that, I mean, if you just played the song like this, like. That's cool.
whatever you can do. So, you know, I've actually played that song live a bunch, which is, let me tell you, it's very hard to do. Serious talk now. It's very hard to play that song in a small bar filled with bros with backwards baseball caps celebrating their 21st birthday, all screaming as loud as they can to each other and ignoring me. <laughs> very difficult, very difficult, but, uh, you know, trying to pl execute this little har harmonious tune, pretty funny. So I might not go back to doing that. I think I might just stay home and practice and play for myself until, you know, surf zombies will do gigs, but I can't really see going back to grinding it out, you know, four nights a week in tiny bars and things. It's like, eh, you guys can just play the jukebox, how about? <laughs> That's cool. So, there you go. That's an idea. And we can talk more about it. If you have questions or ideas, I'm talking about chord melody here. Okay. Take her easy.